Hey guys, it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today we're here again to discuss another gift idea for our series in September. So, if you're not aware, this series is all about um, easy DIY gift ideas and today we're going to be talking about an easy mug cozy. Now, these are the things that you get that, like let's say you go to Starbucks or a coffee shop, you're going to see like the little um, cardboard piece that goes around your cup to keep you from burning your hand. Same idea. This is actually one that I made to go around a regular coffee mug that you have at home. I think it would probably work in those ones at, um, at the store, but I'm not 100%. Um, you could bring it, you could make one specific for that and just copy their paper outline. It would be really easy. You just leave a little seam allowance. Um, and they're a lot of fun to make and they're a lot more eco friendly than using the cardboard ones all the time. So, you can keep these in your purse if you're a big fan of going to the coffee shop and you can at least save, you know, the, um, the I guess, environmental impact of using those day after day after day. Because I know some people go to the coffee shop quite frequently. So, <clears throat> again, here is our final product. And this is what it looks like when it's not on your coffee mug. And the shape of this is designed so the top rounded part actually goes around your mug like this. And it actually works out really nice. It doesn't look like it will, does it? But it does. So this is kind of a neat item. I did not add liner to mine. I have two layers of flannel. You may want to add a liner if you think, depending on how you're planning to use this. Because I think this will be sufficient for the cups that we have at home. They seem to hold the heat pretty well and I don't see myself burning my hand if I have two layers of flannel between it. I don't know a coffee shop. Again, I don't I don't go that often, so I can't really say how hot there that would be. So but I think probably two layers of flannel is enough. If you think it's not, you can always add some liner in between. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what kind of supplies we'll need now. So let's go head over to the sewing table. Okay guys, for supplies, we're gonna need some fabric. We're gonna need our pattern. And we're going to need something to cut it out with, of course, and a sewing machine. We're also going to need a button, snap, um, or elastic. So if you use the button and the elastic, that works really well. But you can also just use um, a snap on each end, depending on what you have available. <sighs> when you cut your fabric, you may want to just fold it over here. Fold it right sides together, sorry. That way you're already set up to, um, to sew. <laughs> I cut my two like right below each other and I realized um, the sides aren't the same on each side so <laughs> it's kind of a mistake. Uh, let's see. You also want to make sure you add a seam allowance to your fabric. Um, or to your pattern. I will put this pattern up on my blog. Um, it'll be on my um, in my subscriber. Um, I have a special like all my subscribers are, get access to a special folder with all the patterns I put up, and um, <clears throat> that's free. But you have to be a newsletter subscriber to get the um, to get the link. So. Go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter and then you'll be able to get this pattern. So here are my two pieces of fabric, fabric and I am going to pin them right sides together and then I'm going to sew all the way around leaving a small area to turn and top stitch. I'm going to go to the area I left to turn, and I'm going to turn it. <clears throat> okay, our next step is going to be to iron these down. Okay, now you're going to add your uh, top stitch here. 
Okay guys, so I have to install my snaps and this is one that's already been installed or put on. I really like um, using snaps. I think they're pretty easy to put on. I don't like sewing buttons, so that's where I'm at. So you're going to want to put your cozy here on your cup and mine is actually a little bit long. So I'm going to figure out where I want those snaps to go. Use my awl to make a hole there. Okay, so I know where I want my hole to be. I've got it marked. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> so this is my first one and this is my top side, the side that I want to be showing. And I am going to put my snap on. And I just snip the end of the cap, uh, the pointy end of the cap, because I think it helps it go on a little bit easier, particularly if you have a thinner fabric. And again, we're going this direction, so let's keep this. Okay, there we go, we have our snap on. And we can put this right on our cup. <clears throat> there we go. And there's our coffee cozy. Okay, guys, we're finished again. Final look at our product that we made here. I hope you guys share yours over at the show and tell page on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Make sure to subscribe below. Subscribe to my email newsletter if you want a copy of the pattern I used. And um, that's it. I got, hope you guys enjoy and keep following along with our 30-day series. We've got a bunch of really cool DIY um, projects that we're going to be doing. Make sure to catch up if you're just starting today. All right. Thanks so much. Take care, guys. Have a good day.